Hi, everybody. Welcome to the stream. I'm alive. Oh, God. I just realized I don't have, like, my pop-out chats. Oh, God. Wait, hold up. I have to do my pop-out chats here. Ugh. Gotta get the chats. I, I very much rushed going live. I'm very hectic this morning. I think I just... I did so much adulting just in one singular morning that I'm a little bit thrown off right now, okay? But there we go. I got my pop-out chats. So they are all ready, good to go. Let me just ping the Discord. Yeah, we had daylight savings happen. That's a thing. I love that that still exists for some fucking reason. Oh my god, I have so many messages on Discord. Five DMs? Jesus Christ. Okay, that's... I haven't checked my Discord since I woke up. I've been, like, running like a chicken with my head cut off, man. Okay, ping me club. Let's go. All right, ping me club, ping me club. Barret time and gold saucer. All right. Hi, everybody. Hello, hello. Y'all are so cute. I do not appreciate this time change. I don't think anyone does, honestly. God, I'm so... Ugh. I'm so stressed out seeing all my Discord DMs that I haven't looked at this morning at all. Man, oh man. No, I'm good, I'm good. I figured out my stuff, I just, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Aw, why is my internet so cool? I'm not, I swear to God, my Dropbox is not going. Yeah, it's not. It's not. Hopefully it's just a momentary lapse in judgment. All right, we're good. Hi. What happened to the time? It went to shit. That's what happened. Oh, guys, this is the last stream with Elliot. Wait, hold up. It's the last stream with Sir Elliot. I don't want to leave Elliot, but we're literally moving like right after stream. I'm heading back to my apartment. I ain't done yet. I want a rematch. Woo! Hell yeah! That's what I like to see. Make him feel. You gonna hit me or what? He's so cute. How am I gonna leave this, y'all? Wait, who is, uh, you felt extremely randomly sick last night? Huh, that's weird. I've had it happen where, like, some nights I feel like I've slept with a fever for some reason, and uh, it just went away whenever I woke up. I have no idea. Kidnap the cat? I mean, the cat would love that, but Dom, I think, might die. Come on, bring it! Is it possible to wish you a happy birthday? I mean, yeah, you can. If my birthday is officially in two weeks. Oh boy. Wait, I thought my birthday was on a Tuesday. I'm confused. Wait, my birthday's on a Monday? I thought my birthday was on a Tuesday. I didn't even know that. Wow. You gonna hit me or what? Here, I'll move. I'll get out of this uh, NPC range so you guys don't have to hear a bunch of yelling all the time. It's hard. I don't know where I can go in Mount Corral that actually you know, has no NPCs. There's, like, NPCs everywhere, so there's gonna be dialogue. I don't know what to do for a birthday stream, y'all. Like, what do I do? I'm gonna be in Boston on my actual birthday, but... I will be doing a birthday stream on Wednesday the 27th, like the day I come back from PAX East. I just don't know what to do because I want to do a special stream. I think I would do just chat, just, just chatting. I don't want to do a game. No gaming stream. Some sort of just chatting, but like having a lot of fun with chat. A dance-off stream with chat? I don't even know how that would work. I 
I'm gonna have the case of the Mondays on my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm gonna be in Boston. <laughs> I'm literally on vacation on my birthday. Because, yeah, Monday. It's the Monday after PAX East ends, which I'll still be in Boston that day. I never have a case of the Mondays, actually. I've never felt the case of the Mondays ever since, like, five years ago. I don't, I don't get that anymore. Watching on YouTube is better than on Twitch. I do like the YouTube player a lot more, yeah. Live, you laugh, you lose. Could do a live, you laugh, you lose. That's a little bit sudden for me uh, to plan that. Oof. A live Q&A on my birthday? Hmm. What if we make a surprise something for you? I've been thinking about it for a couple days. Well, is it? it's not a surprise now if you say it. <laughs> I don't care what y'all do. But I love surprises. Don't tell me shit, though, because then that ruins it. But yeah, I do, I do love surprises. Lethal Company special. Actually, I think that is the Lethal Company episode. Hmm. I'll actually consider that. I could do a live you laugh you lose on my birthday. That could be one of the things that we do. Y'all should post your Lethal Company clips for the next special episode. That's right, you should. That's right, you should. You like my Doki Doki Literature Club Let's Play? Thank you. That game scarred me. You haven't been able to convince your friends to play Lethal Company? Oh, Wait, we should just have a mod night. We can have a mod night in playing Lethal Company. I didn't know, I think, wait, we might have talked about this before and I instantly forgot about it, I'm so sorry. Like having a mod night just playing Lethal Company. With live submissions or the usual pre-approved? Oh, it would be pre-approved compilation. Like, Tion sends me a, like a compilation every week. So whatever Tion sends me and then I just react to those videos. I, just because I don't think, I want to do live submissions, but I don't have like the format down for that because they still need to be moderated, you know what I mean? And I only have two weeks now until that, and I'm, right now I'm trying to plan out my PAX East uh, trip right now. Uh, I'm trying to get him to cuddle. I'm trying. Yeah, there is a way to do like live submissions. Uh, I have to look into it, but I know that I know people can do it. There you go. Yeah. This is my last day with Elliot, so my last like four hours with Elliot. Let me have this one W. That is a very flat cat. You mean fat? You put an L in there. He's very fat, yes. I have literally been... They feed him so much. Like, her instructions that she left me for feeding Elliot, I'm like, dude, you feed this cat so much. He gets one can of wet food. It's a decent-sized can. Uh, one can of wet food every yeah. night. And then a quarter cup of dry food on top of that. A quarter cup of dry food again in the morning. And a quarter a quarter more of wet food in the morning. I'm like, every time, every single day that I've been here, he has barely eaten just one can of wet food. And that's usually what he does, is just one can of wet food. So, I feel like Elliot has actually lost weight since we've been here. I don't know, it could be just me, but I feel like he's lost weight because he's eating normally. You want to say hi? Yeah. No, you don't want to. You don't want to say hi. It's in the microphone. It's right there. Yeah. That's Elliot's way of saying hi. Okay. 
No more Elliot after today. Until next year. Probably gonna happen again next year. You're almost done with Rebirth, I think, which means I can finally move on to my backlog and resume 14. Dude, you're insane. I cannot believe you. You actually managed to do it. <clears throat> yeah, I don't understand how Des like Dynasty does it this fast. Hi, Tion! Yeah? You're a purrin' boy. They can't hear it, but you are, you are purrin'. I'm gonna miss him so much. I don't know how cats know, but they know. Um, he does this about every day, though. He's a very social cat. He doesn't like not being around people. So he's almost always just on a chair next to me. He's always like in the presence of people. Uh, and he does love his cuddles. So I wouldn't say this is actually like too over the top, but he did witness me pull down my suitcase this morning. He saw the suitcase and I feel like he does know a little bit. I need to get back into 14 for Stormblood, and I need to play Nier Automata for my backlog. Oh, Warframe, don't do Warframe, oh my god. That's an even bigger time sink. But yeah, I can't believe like you and like you and Tion have been dating for a bit now, and you haven't played Nier Automata. I don't know how Tion has put up with you uh, throughout all this time. You've been binging the VOD so far. Aw. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you're enjoying the VODs. Elliot's suitcase? Oh no, I can't fit in that. Aww. He's such a cute boy. I'm seriously gonna miss Elliot so much. Y'all, I'm gonna need a lot of comfort tomorrow on stream. If you guys don't mind. Because being without being without Elliot, I'm gonna be having heavy withdrawals tomorrow. <laughs> He's just that good of a person. Tion is the goat, man. Take the cat. I don't know, I feel like they would notice, you know? Uh, we are on episode 6 of Machina Abridged. So I'm very excited to be watching more of that, too. Elliot is too cute, y'all. You finally given the series a chance? Oh, yes, another one into Yakuza? Got another one. That's a cute cat. Ain't he the best? Here, I should, like, tilt my camera down. If I can, a little bit. Just so you guys can see a little bit more Elliot here at the bottom. He has claimed my hand. Oh, I released my dance video! God, this weekend I did so much shit that I forgot. I hope you guys liked my dance video. I, that one... That one was a lot of... Time and especially money. Uh, to do that video. <laughs> All right, that's enough cuddles for Elliot for right now. Himaya is very unique catalyst to joining the series and I highly respect it. Imagine getting into Yakuza just because of Yamai. That's that's amazing. 
We live in this world. <laughs> Diane! <laughs> Man, I'll still think about the birthday stream a, a bit. I wonder if we could do some, like, cute chat things. Um, like, stuff like Jackbox or even, like, Marbles on stream is a popular one where, you know, all of chat can participate in that kind of thing. And maybe I actually give away stuff. I like giving away things on my birthday. So, um, I could be, I could do that. Give away some things. Some, uh, some, like, chat-involved type stuff. You got into Yakuza because I want to keep my job. Oh, that's great. I love that. Yeah, you should, uh, yeah. That's great. <laughs> no pressure. Wait, 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 what? That's an insane deal. Wait, the Great Ace Attorney 1 and 2, so like the full Chronicles, plus the original... Ace Attorney Trilogy for 20 bucks. Like, five. that's five games? <coughs> five games? You for real? You heard Jackbox and my neurons get activated? Yeah, we could probably have some fun. I'm always afraid to do that kind of thing. But I feel like whenever it's my birthday, I don't know. Fuck it. If there are trolls, it's whatever. I could make it so I hide the code on stream, but reveal it to people that are actually in the Discord, maybe? So that it's more community. Because there's a lot of people on Twitch, like just viewers on Twitch that like go around to Jackbox streams just to go into them and, and troll and be a bitch. Um, so I'd rather keep it to, like, the community here. So we could... I could put, like, the room codes in Discord. So it's strictly just you guys. Five games. Yeah, five games. That's crazy. For 20 bucks. You've always wanted to use Jackbox? Yeah! I do have all of them. <clears throat> oh my god. I don't- I still don't know what happened on Friday's stream in terms of, like, what chat was doing. I have no idea what y'all were doing. The few times that I looked, I was a little bit scared. <laughs> Recent Jackboxes have mod mode where your mods can view entries with uh, first to screen out the unsafe stuff. Really? What? Well, that's. I'll have to look into that. I've not. I've not seen that. Thank you, Reed. I'll look into it. Oh right, I did say that. Friday was a. We're a very educational stream, here. Yeah, it's true. Dude, I... I'm a mess this morning. I I was on the phone with, uh, with a new ISP this morning for 45 minutes as soon as I woke up. I still got a shower, was able to pack, got my stuff downstairs, still made myself breakfast all before stream. Like, there was just two hours since I woke up and I got so much done. Like, I literally changed my phone and internet plan this morning because we've been paying so much fucking money. It is stupid. So I were I literally cut the cost of our internet and phone bill by half. Oh my god. And the best thing, the new phone plan that I just got this morning, by the way, I can finally live stream from my phone. Because I've, I've been wanting to like live stream from my phone, like just for traveling or even like, I've thought about live streaming my dancing videos in terms of like my process of making them. Uh, cause like, why not? But I, I haven't been able to all these years because I've only had two gigs of data every month and that's the phone plan I have. 
So now I have 150 for less than what I was paying before. Isn't that crazy? I've been getting scammed for so long. <laughs> so, um, yeah, needless to say, live streams are inbound from my phone, which will probably be jank streams, just so we're clear, but live streams. Yeah, I've been living on two gigs a month. Yeah, for like five years. Yeah, and I've just been wanting to live stream, but you can't do that on two gigs. Um, so it's shit. I fixed it though. So I can even live stream from PAX East. There's a good chance that at PAX East, I will, I will be live streaming a, maybe a couple times. I don't know, but it's gonna happen. That's a ripoff. Oh dude, you have no idea. Dom and I have been getting scammed for a while off our internet and phone plans, but we didn't have a choice with internet until recently. So I switched it this morning. But, needless to say, I got into that tangent. I haven't checked my Discord DMs, and I see I have five, which is a little bit stressful to look at. Um, I also forgot that I scheduled a YouTube video for coming out today. I, I managed to edit in the past two days. I really went hard. I finished editing two videos. Uh, so I finished editing my vlog, BTS video, which is coming out today. I think I scheduled it to come out today. I really hope it looks good because I didn't get a chance to, like, review it. So if the subtitles are fucked, don't blame me. I really rushed a lot of my work this weekend, so, um, I didn't- I did not double-check if my subtitles were correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's coming out today in, in 40 minutes. Because my videos always release at 11. Um, yeah. Fuck. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm stressed. Okay, so yeah, I'm hoping that video looks good. Enjoy the vlog video. Yeah, I know it probably won't get many views, but it's just for people that actually care about how I produce my dance videos. So it's, it's behind the scenes of the whole process of the honeybee and dance recreation that I did. It's neither urgent. Okay, yeah, I see one from you. I got one from Tion. Tion's is probably just the You Laugh, You Lose episode. I hope it's just that. But I'm not looking at DMs right now, oh my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to check my DMs until tonight, actually. It's gonna be late. Because right after stream, I'm packing, we're cleaning up house here, we're going back to my apartment, and then I have to put all my PC and stuff back together over there. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's a day. So, yeah, I'm sorry, I won't be able to check any messages all day. All day. I'm just stressed. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like this morning. I'm running like a chicken with my head cut off. I'm like, Ugh. it's not important. It is important. It's the you laugh you lose episode. But yeah, I also have three other DMs, so that's fun. I'll ch <laughs> nothing better be pertinent. <laughs> I'm in the trenches. Yeah, it's just it's just a busy day. That's all. And then I didn't have to do the internet plan thing that I did this morning. Like, I didn't have to switch ISPs. But I just didn't want to wait any longer. Actually, it's me telling you it's coming tomorrow. Oh, wait, are you for real? Okay. <laughs> That's fine, then. I won't stress. <laughs> Does anybody else, like, y'all, actually, chat, tell me if you're the kind of person that, like, leaves a like, you don't delete your Gmail, like your emails. You just kind of like leave them there forever because I cannot. Like if I have DMs, I have to check them. Like I feel bad. If I have emails, I have to, I have to respond to them. If I have emails, like I can't have more than like 20 emails on sitting in my Gmail. Like I have to like archive them or I, I have to delete them. Like I need a clean space at all times. 15,000 emails. Why don't you delete them? <laughs> Dude, I remember, like, recently I saw Dom's email. That was, like, a few months ago, recently. But, like, I looked at his email. I'm like, you never delete your emails. Like, it looks like a goddamn mess. I'm like, oh, my God, I would go fucking crazy. I can't. How do you people live like this? Thousands of unchecked emails? <gasps> Oh 
next Yakuza video is gonna be, uh... Gonna be ready on Wednesday. Oh shit, nice! Content, let's go! I only look at things within the last few days. Damn. Wow. I always read and respond to DMs and messages. My emails I just let pile up, but I open them when I do get them in, so they vanish from my inbox. Oh my god. <laughs> Dang! On average, I, I literally hate that on average I spend around 30 minutes, 30 to 45 minutes every day just on Gmail. And I hate that. Because, like, that is time that I could be making content, but I spend 30 to 45 minutes just on fucking emails every day. It is not fun. I hate it. Your professional ones are neater. I have to keep them all neat, like my personal and my professional. 4,822 unread in your inbox after spam has been filtered. Damn. Yeah, I don't count spam. I don't look at the spam the accounts at all. Spam, the spam folder just sits there. Sometimes I'll peek at it just to see what kind of bullshit is in there. But yeah, no, I, I, never, I never check the spam otherwise. I am great at emails, but also I hate them so much. I hate them too. I hate them too. Because sometimes I'll, like, I guess in ta in talking to, like, some sponsors sometimes, I want to be really personal with people a lot of the time. So I hate emails for that reason because I never know if I can cross the threshold. Like, do I have to be super professional because it's an email format? Or can I be, like, a little bit personal and actually, you know, I don't know. I put a little bit of, bit of character and flair into my email, like, you know, I feel like I, I, I view emails as a very professional thing. So it feels awkward whenever I email someone, I'm like, Hey, so-and-so, blah, 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 kind regards, Crystal. Like, I hate that professional format. I don't, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it so much. I just want to be like personal. God damn it. You're a new sub here from the Undertale series. Moody Gloom, welcome. Oh God, I cannot wait for more Deltarune. Oh. Hi Rock, hi Jesse, how you doing? It's trained you to reply to everything instantly. Ugh. I, I do hate letting emails go, yeah. I Well, I do for a lot of like game stuff that comes my way because I I get so many emails every day about like you know people sending me their games and I feel bad because I wish I could check them out especially indie ones I wish I could check them all out but oh boy <laughs> I can't respond to all of them but I at least check them and make sure to delete them because I can't just keep them there <clears throat> How are you? I'm hanging in there. I'm doing good. Right now, I'm a bit crazed because PAX East is next week and I'm just... <laughs> I'm just going crazy a bit. Dear person, please find attached email. Kind regards. Insert name here. Trauma. I hate it. I hate it so much. I just want to email someone and be like, hey, I attached the file you want. Okay, thanks. Bye. Why do I have to do the formality thing? <laughs> it's just, it just feels so out of character. Like, I just can't do it. You have no idea. Whenever I get an email from a sponsor that actually has like some sort of emoji in it, I get so excited. Like whenever it feels personal, like, you know, someone puts a heart at the end of their message or a smiley, I'm like, oh, okay, we're getting somewhere. I get, I get so excited about just seeing a goddamn emoji in my email. <laughs> it's so stupid. Uh. Less stress than phones for my tiny brain. Oh, I hate. I've I've begun to like as I get older, I hate texting more and more. I don't know why. Texting is like just kind of stressful. I don't I I don't like it. Just regular texting. <clears> 
<laughs> Jesse. <laughs> if I'm emailing someone outside of the company, I'm super formal. But if it's to a coworker, I'm like, "What's up? Take a look at this." Ah, okay. So at least you drop the formality. Like if I'm constantly exchanging emails with someone that you know, like the same person, I work with the same people a lot when it comes to sponsors. Like over time, I try to get rid of the formality a little bit, but I'm like afraid that it's less professional. And then for some reason, they won't work with me. I, I don't know. I just, it's awkward. It's just, I just want to be more personal. Like we keep working with each other. So I'm just gonna be less formal <laughs> over time. I, uh, but I feel like I'm not supposed to do that. <clears throat> Calling is way more stress inducing. Actually, I prefer calls more than anything. Um, the biggest reason is because of time. Texting and like DMing someone and having like a full on conversation with them over something is so time consuming. Whereas like if someone's gonna give me a lengthy conversation, I want them to call me. Like for example, a great example is like, I wanna catch up with my friend Ko. It's been a bit, but we both are like, yeah, texting and just like messaging each other constantly over Discord to catch up with each other, we ain't about that life because it just takes like an hour of your time. Whereas I can call and get that conversation done in like 20 minutes. It's like, it's so much faster, man. Speech is faster. So I actually do prefer calling because it's such a time saver. You just get, and, and also, um, and also when it comes to calling, there's less room for misinterpretation because a lot of times text can be interpreted differently. Uh, a, a text cannot be super clear on your uh, like mood behind, uh, your tone behind what you're saying. So like calling just helps so many things. It's a time saver. You have less miscommunication. It, it's, it's just, I prefer calling. Oh, formal calls. Yeah, that's the difference. Like calling with friends way better. Calling like professionally. Mm. It's a pain in the ass, but I still prefer it. I like, I agree with you there. If it's like a professional thing and you're on the phone, it's, it, it, it is stressful, but I'm willing to go through the stress because I know I'm gonna benefit more from a call, if that makes sense. So like, sometimes I'm willing to go through a stressful situation knowing that it's a better outcome. I was super professional at first until my boss replied to something I sent with that gif of the kid at a computer giving a thumbs up! <laughs> Texts are cute for silliness and I can share memes over phone calls. Yeah, I, I mean, that's not what I'm talking about though. I'm talking about like full on conversations. Sending memes to your friends, like that's fine. That's, that's what DMing people is for. But if like you're gonna have a lengthy conversation with someone, like I, I I don't want to have a lengthy conversation with a friend over over text. I will if the other, if that makes the other person feel better, but I do personally love calling people. It's just way 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 better. Am I a clown? I downloaded Ever Crisis. I don't know. I'm gonna be completely honest. I know barely shit about Ever Crisis. <laughs> I don't know much about it. I just don't really play mobile games. <clears throat> Do you have any thoughts on the Stellar Blade demo accidental release? I know nothing about it. We usually just talk in a group discord. Yeah, I do. I do like that a lot. Yeah, that's me. I know I'm like weird though. <laughs> I'm just weird like that. All right, y'all want to watch Machina Abridged? Oh, I was gonna pet Elliot. <laughs> 
Last day with Elliot, I'm gonna cry. Ah! You didn't realize it was me doing the Dancing with Real Life Nanako video? <laughs> Wait. I have to ask for a follow-up. What tipped you off? Like, what was the moment that you were like, oh, that's Crystal? Like, what was that moment? What tipped you off that it was me? I have to know the answer. Please tell me. <laughs> this is so great. Yes, that was my, uh, that was my niece as Nanako, and she is adorable. The cosplay was that good? My cosplays are not that good. I promise y'all. Like, they're a way better cosplay. I used to be a better cosplayer, but nowadays, like, I don't have the time to put, like, a crazy amount of detail and time and, like, do everything. Like, I used to do every, like, 100% of my cosplays. But nowadays, it's a mix of, like, I'll buy a thing, but then I'll also make the, a couple pieces that I'm not satisfied with in the bot thing. Like, it's like a mix and match nowadays. My quality has gone down a lot, but, like, it's just because I have less time. Like, I'm not a full-time cosplayer. If I was, then that'd be different. Your honeybee video? I didn't realize you were also a dancer since I came to start watching your Uvia you React videos. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that's so great! <laughs> Wait, so the honeybee video. So you watched my honeybee dance video. Yes, I'm a dancer. Hi. <laughs> that's so great! I love how that. I was dressed up as Cloud. Did you recognize. You recognized me as Cloud? So like, I, I dressed up as Cloud, and then that made you realize that I was a dancer, and then, oh, maybe she was also Yunarkami. <laughs> I'm just a chameleon, what can I say? You somehow stumbled upon me in two different algorithms. Oh, God, you wanna know something I didn't ever look into was uh, on TikTok. I never looked at people, like, mentioning me in comments and, uh, tagging me in things before. So, I did yesterday, just for fun for a little bit, and I had no idea the amount of people that, like, stitched my TikToks or, uh, were, like, tagging me in things that they made for me on TikTok. Like, there was a lot! I was so surprised! Like, I was going through TikTok, I'm like, oh my god, somebody, like, so many people were making fan edits of me. I was like... Uh, this is like a whole world that I did not know existed on TikTok and I felt bad. So I was, I just started sending comments to people on videos that were like a year old on TikTok. Like literally one of them was like, oh, they published it in 2022, or like a fan video of me. And I commented on it two years later. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm just now seeing this. This is awesome. <laughs> Reply. Someone actually replied like, oh my god, I just got jump scared by this notification. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I missed, I've been missing so much. I thought that was so cute though. But yeah, I did respond to like a lot of the old videos that people made of me on TikTok. Do you want to watch? Oh, we could watch a few of those fan videos. Yeah, they were so cute. It also gave me a lot of inspiration. Like some of y'all that made the the fan videos of me, I'm like, oh damn, it actually gave me content ideas. So that's why I think it's really valuable to like really interact more with the community because honestly, you guys give me so many ideas unintentionally. And I'm like, oh, I can take this idea and make it another thing. Uh, so I got three videos, I three three video ideas yesterday just from inspiration from you guys. <laughs> That's wild. A fan edit on TikTok reaction for the birthday stream? Yeah, maybe maybe I'll add that on to the, the birthday stream day. That sounds like really fun. If you still want to do Persona 5 dancing videos? Of course. Of course I do. 
I have a banger video idea, boss. What's your video idea, Tion? <laughs> Does it have anything to do with this, sir? <laughs> Dude, the pants ripping is so good. But yeah, no, it definitely gave me a boost of uh, serotonin yesterday. Just seeing the old videos and it just, there's so much love online of like my content and I did not, I did not even realize it. I, I had no idea. So just, it made me, it really lifted my spirits a lot. <laughs> ah! You play near again, that's it, I'll watch it. 500,000 times! That's a lot of times, Tion. That's a lot of times. You don't have a video idea? I'm just vibing. Oh, you don't need to do- You guys don't need to give me video ideas. Trust me, I got a lot of them. But no, it's just like, sometimes I'll see like a comment in chat and I'm like, Oh, that, that'd be a good idea. Like, it's not intentional. But I also don't take- ideas like verbatim a lot like normally i do uh like a little bit of a twist like something so it's just you guys unintentionally spark things in me it's kind of cool i actually find it kind of cool no <laughs> that's so cute <clears throat> i i just imagine Tion just like <laughs> I don't know. I can I can even picture Tion and his voice. I can picture the whole thing on everything like Tion is it is saying in the chat. Exactly how he would say it in real life. It's just so easy to picture. Especially with the near simping. Like absolutely. Look at this big boy. Do you see this big boy, this Elliot? He's so cute, he's so big, and we just love him because he's so cute, and he's so big, and he's so fluffy, and he's so lovable. And he does not care the amount of times that I pet him. He never gets tired of it. That's the greatest part about this cat. Anyway, so, shall we? It's Mashna bridge time. This is a great angle, um, but hold up. So let me mute that. Okay. Oh God, that's this episode. So speaking of the honeybee, um, <laughs> here we go. This is that section of uh, FF7. Hi Cloud, how'd it go? Well, so, any of you got some panties on you? You're in luck! <laughs> got what I need. <laughs> hey, can we stop by a place real fast? One drugs, please. My man. My man! <laughs> fucking... This might be my favorite intro out of any of the episodes. And you have no idea how many times I quote that guy. One drugs, please. My man. I say that to my brother you all the time. You need any help, Cloud? Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm good. Really? Because you've been in there for two hours. I just... I just really like the fabric. Of course! Giuseppe, you's only the finest of a chocobo silk. <laughs> How do you even get that out of a cho... Chobo... 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 <laughs> Come on, Cloud. I really want to see. Okay. <laughs> I look so cute. <gasps> you really do. <laughs> you are Giuseppe's pride and a joy. But uh, Papa, I thought I was your pride and joy. Well, maybe if you are marry one of those uh, big girls and make them grandchildren, then you earn Giuseppe's respect. But uh, Papa, those girls are uh, hookers. How do you think I have found your mother? Are you a hooker, baby? Yeah, we should go. I'm coming down at the worst possible time. We're back, Mr. Dorman. Hey, good Scott audition. Yep, I brought that friend. Oh, your friend got a name? Oh! Uh, my name is, uh. Oh, sh I shit my name, right? Uh. Um. Uh, I'm a hooker, baby! 
You are gonna blow expectations. Hello there, sir. Oh, uh, we're here for the uh, audition. All right, I'll get you to sign this form, and afterwards you can head straight on down to the sex dungeon. What the fuck? <coughs> uh, beg pardon. She better be down here. There she is. Oh, thank God she's all right. <laughs> nice outfit. Did your grandmother lend it to you after her funeral? I found her! Yay! Hi, you must be T. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'll take a double shot of whiskey on the rocks. Long day. Oh, I'm not a waitress. Me and Cloud are here to rescue you. Wait, Cloud? He's alive? Mm-hmm. We snuck in to rescue you. <laughs> it all started when he fell from heaven. Uh, uh, honey, honey, I'm gonna need you to focus the f up and tell me where Cloud is. <laughs> You're pleasant. He's here. You already met him. Oh, God. Wh what are you talking about? The only people here are you, me, and that spiky plum girl. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Laugh it up. Oh, man. <laughs> um, so, um, how did you do the boobs? Grapefruits and three bras. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I'm done. <clears throat> Perfect. Now we can... <sighs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just... <laughs> I'm really glad you're alive and all, but I just... I just can't get over the boobs. Uh-huh. Guess I know what it's like to be one of your shirts. Oh, sick burn, Cloud. I have huge tits. Well, they're not that big. <laughs> I'm glad you seem to find me doing whatever it takes to rescue you so funny. I didn't need a rescue. Really? Because being trapped behind Don Corneo's Chocobo bang wagon showed otherwise. We were having a moment before he noticed you. Cloud, you idiot. I wasn't trapped. I'm here undercover. Apparently Don Corneo has info on Shinra and Avalanche. Oh. Well, what were you going to do? Beat it out of him? No, Cloud. I was going to fuck him. La 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 Muggles, 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 muggles! She's interesting. But seriously, though, <laughs> fear is a great motivator. Especially when his pants are down and I've got that fierce grip. Oh, please tell me you were going to take the gloves off. Oh, Cloud. You know me better than that. Now get out of here before you mess this up for me. <laughs> All right, ladies. The Don will see you now. Oh, God damn it. Well, well, well. Would you look at the spread I have today? God damn Which it. Which flavor will I partake in? Strawberry. That's a yummy fruit. It is. But maybe I'm in the mood for gray. <sighs> but you know what they say about blueberries. They contain antioxidants, lower the risk of heart diseases, and... Boring! So, little lady, what's your name? Uh, Thunderhead? I've made my decision! You've oh. got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, 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 you, you don't let me! Uh, I'm a virgin! Prepare my chamber! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I can't believe that I was chosen! <laughs> I'm so lucky! Oh, baby, there was no competition! You're just so reserved and shy. <laughs> You know what, uh, gets my vagina rearing to go for that <coughs> piping hot D? Secrets! Pertaining <laughs> Secrets! to espionage? Oh, well, this'll moisten you up, sweetheart. Shinra is going to destroy Avalanche by dropping Sector 7's upper plate right on top of their secret base today! Whoa! Right? I'm actually the one who found where Avalanche was hiding. So, Thundy, it's your turn for secrets. Oh! Mm. Do you really want to know? Ooh, I'm just itching. Really? <laughs> yes! 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 <gasps> I have a dick. <gasps> Surprise! I'm a guy! Even better. Whoa! Hey, Don! Fun fact about that grape, it's high in vitamin D. I, I just told him I'm a guy. Oh, well, f me sideways. 
can't have anything today, huh? Well, how about I give you the info you dressed all slutty for? First of all, I was dressed hoary. Second of all, that would be great. <laughs> so you're telling me those dickheads at Shinra plan on destroying my home slash job? You live there? The rent is cheap, Cloud! Your name is Cloud? That's so beautiful! <laughs> See, he agrees. Shut up! How exactly did you figure out where our base is? Oh, well, there was a pinball machine at a bar my agent went to. <laughs> Say no more. Well done. It's been swell, <laughs> but... Wait, Thunderhead. I just need to know. What? Do you think you could ever fall for me? Uh, no. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go to my hot spring. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. That was such a good episode, too. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm trying here. I'm trying. There we go. Hi, Emma. I love FF7. It is so great to see the old graphics again, actually. I really like it. Like, that's how far we've come. Since 1997. That was 1997, this is today. It's, uh, it's a, it's just like a tiny bit of a difference. Like a, like, you know, like a tiny bit. A little, a little wee woo bit of difference. I forgot what my main plot was. Throws us a bone I think I have so to go often. down. Sends us a plot. <sighs> it's no use. Wheels busted. How are we supposed to move all these? I forget. Rations now. I need to go down. Lucky I don't even know how I got I here. Got uh, <laughs> gold Corral is. This isn't even golden. Why did I say the Golden Corral? <laughs> Mount Coral is, uh, how do I maneuver around here in this? I'll be. Not often we get visitors. Okay, it's that way, it's that way. Gold saucer? Four years. There's the gold saucer. Ah, uh, yes, the ropeway landing. <clears throat> Yeah, we're ready. Head to the gold saucer. You will not be able to return to North Corral for some time. We're ready. This will take us all the way to the saucer. Hey, you can't let those assholes talk to you like that. You should go back and beat them up or something. Practically, the whole damn town came out to crap on him. Someone tell me why I'm the only one who's pissed here. <sighs> I told you, I can take it. Think you could at least tell us what it was all about? They were talking like you sold them out for money, but I know that isn't true. That's not you. So how'd they get it so wrong? Where the hell is it? This about her? About Marlene? No. Look at his face. <sighs> Corel wasn't much. Here you. Decent place with decent. I forgot to thank subs earlier. Euclid's, thank you for the 22 months. Uh, Jin, thank you so much for the two month resub. I appreciate it. Cool. Decent folks, too. Rough around the edges, but big hearts. Salt of the earth. And I sold them all down the river. Took away their future and their hope. Oh, 
Oh, we getting flashback scene and everything. Covered in soot and porous dirt. But none of that mattered. We had friends and family. And that was enough. Till we learned about the miracle of Mako and all we'd been missing out on. And then we just had to have a taste. <laughs> so now only Dine is opposed. Damn right I am. We can't just abandon the mines. Not after our fathers and grandfathers risked their lives to maintain them. Dine is very I wise. Dine. I do. But nobody sees any future in coal. So I ask you, why break our backs working harder and harder when we're taking home less year after year? Mm. <sighs> if I may, sir. Once the reactor is complete, a portion of the revenue will go to the town. Your community will be preserved, or enriched, I should say. Listen, man. This is your chance to give your daughter a better life than what we had. You think I haven't thought about that? Come on. Are we gonna let some city slickers tell us our coal is worthless? We gonna let them tell us we're worthless? It would seem we've reached an impasse. In which case, any further discussion would be a waste of breath. So, Mr. Mayor, shall we put it to a vote? Well then, all in favor? was finished, and the trial run went off without a hitch. Everyone was ecstatic, convinced it was the dawn of a new era. Then one day... <clears throat> the reactor exploded. Y'all saw the aftermath. And then, Shinra came rolling into town. Burned everything. Innocent people in their homes. Was that Scarlet? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. Get it. Why burn the whole town? To craft a story that it was all the work of a local insurgent group. But ain't no villager ever gone near the reactor. They lied right through their teeth. Murderers. Hmm. That they are. Still. There's a whole lot of blood on my hands, too. I push for the reactor. I put us on the path that brought us here. Barrett. The saucer's waiting. Is this really how it's gonna be? Listen, I don't want your sympathy or your pity. You can keep all of that nonsense. I did what I did, and I can live with it. Right, we gotta shake this off. We're about to rock up to the funnest place ever. 
the gold saucer. Huh? So turn those frowns upside down. <laughs> what in the hell? Ain't no one but you thinking about how much fun we're gonna have. It's the gold saucer. Right? Wanna have a look? It's coming up over there. The entire town blames Barrett, even though they all agree to it. Yeah, they all did agree to it. But I mean, that's that's also a common thing with large groups of people is like, <laughs> instead of taking responsibility for Glad something, it's always all easier to point page. blame at someone. <laughs> and that's what that situation is there, too. It's like, instead of being like, oh, I was part of the problem. Oh, it's that guy's fault. It's a very uh, unfortunate human thing. All oh, that glitters. Ah. Oh my god, that's exactly like look, the original FF7 look, look. shot. Something's coming. Oh, it's like so faithful. Oh. <laughs> Damn Shiva, you hot. Too. Damn girl. This is incredible. Holy shit. What the fuck? Gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer. Oh. Gold saucer, gold saucer, gold saucer. Materia. I took your materia. I'm sorry. Yo, this is wild! The way that you can see everything! Oh, am I supposed to go that way? No, I'm supposed to go that way. Oh god, okay. I'm already confused and lost. Wait, this is where I just came from. Oh my god, I'm an idiot! I'm, I'm fine. Look at that helicopter. So colorful. <laughs> Barrett Wallace, Tifa Lockhart, and Cloud Strife. Look at them. Look! Waltzing around with the flower seller and Hojo's lab rat. Who are these people? Cat rat dog. At least they're finally on a real wanted list. It's about time. That's all well and good. But why am I in charge of handing out the posters? Don't they know I have a division to run? I think you're where the president wants you. <laughs> Cloud, the others are waiting. Are you ready for a fun-filled day in a golden paradise? So do they have like the big Kirby looking mouth? Oh there it is! Welcome to the gold saucer, Kubo! You'll find the main entrance just up ahead. We hope you enjoy your stay with us. Holy shit. Okay. This is Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. To the gold saucer. Okay, okay. That's uh buggy parking. This is our desert parking area. 
Access is reserved for guests with vehicles and their companions. What the hell? An actual gold saucer amusement park? Dude, that'd be sick. Full. We apologize for the inconvenience. Why haven't they done that? Okay, okay, but let's be real. If that were the case, with how Square is currently run as a business, I feel like it would just be a casino instead of an actual fun amusement park. Let's be real. It would be a fucking casino. A really predatory casino, just like they all are. Because, like, Square's business practices have not been so hot that I, I I have I have like little faith in an actual good amusement park. You okay, buddy? Yeah. Sorry, my priority is uh Elliot attention right now just because ah, it's my last few hours with him. You okay? You can cuddle again if you want. He keeps like running into me. You okay? Okay. Yuffie's over there. What is over here? Yeah. Just gonna sneak <gasps> by you there. <sighs> Excuse us. Coming through. <sighs> Whoa! Oh, Kate Sith introduction. Hi everyone, let's get this party started. I love the voice. Ben Chocobo. Whoa, magical girl transformation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you be so cute. Oh, that's so cute. What the hell? Do I have a new dance to do? Andrea! Nice try. The floor is all. Yes! Yes, Ben! Oh my god. Oh Dear my god. Art director. <laughs> and you, sir, are Cloud. <laughs> well, Cloud, shall we do Oh my god. Hmm. Let go. Now, now, when <laughs> fate sets us a challenge, we must rise to meet it. Are you ready to rumble? Oh my god. You can do this, Cloud. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Oh! Original graphics! Second 
Chicken's out. And fight! <laughs> Practice, eh? How this fruit. is the best <laughs> day. Deliver three punches, dodge three times, land well. two hits in a row. Oh, ho, ho. All right. Yeah. Come on. Uh. Well. Come on. Take note of which arm. Okay. <laughs> Too slow. Okay. Oh, too slow. Too slow. Yeah. Oh. I... Okay, I did it that time. I did it. Mom, get the camera. Damn it. I love these graphics. God, yes. All right. I did it. I did it. I love the drawn on abs. Like, on, on like. <laughs> It's just great. Let's see if you have what it takes, young man. <laughs> Too slow. Well. Huh. I'm a gamer. I'm a fucking gamer. Come on. <laughs> I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. All right. I'm a gamer. Yeah. I can do this. I'm a gamer. Come on. Yeah. Hope you're ready. Oh, that's cross well yeah. Yeah. Nice going. <laughs> Expertly done, Cloud. Oh yes, Red. I hope I impressed Red. I really want to go on a date with Red. Well fought, young man. Cloud smiled. You saw that? Cloud actually smiled. Holy ass. Dude, why did why do Dio got an ass? Let's give our worthy contender another thunderous round of applause. <laughs> You're the Cloud actually looks happy. Oh my god, he's actually smiling. <laughs> it feels so weird. He's smiling. He's happy. I don't understand what's happening. Well, thanks. <laughs> nice punching up there, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> a small token of my thanks. <sighs> One golden ticket. Your ticket to paradise. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wu Tai pop star outfit, my Let's god. Go. <laughs> thanks. Nicely done. Aren't you were pretty nervous. No. But you used what? to performing in front of crowds. You should have seen him at the Honey Bee Inn. Eric. Oh, you got to tell me that one later. Eric, shut up. So now that we're here, let's have some fun. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Sure. Sounds like a plan to me. I had my fill of fun in Costa del Sol. Let's put it to a vote then. Teensy little prick. All those in favor. All the girls. <laughs> oh, me. Red, that was so cute! 
No, I'm fine. Come on, man. You want to know why? Because I'm soldier, first class. Why don't you and me go book us some rooms? Fine. <laughs> well, the four of us are off. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Get some sleep, okay? I don't want to sleep. I want to go have fun. The hotel's got to be that way. Ghost square. No, not the ghost square. Oh god, no, 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 no. Can I not? I just want to do like literally anything else. No! No! I don't want to. Wait, is that an ice cream truck? Oh, it's popcorn! I wanna go. No! <laughs> Saucer sundries. Oh. I wanna go to the event square. Every square is yours to enjoy. Where you go is up to you. There's fun to be found all over. Yeah, but I'm not allowed to go have fun apparently. Linda! It won't last. What? Mako, when it's gone. So's this. Where'd that come from? Paraphrasing you. Well, you're not wrong. But I get your point. Live it up while you can. Future's not promised to no one. Oh! Okay, that's trippy. was so creepy originally and now it's even more creepy dying for this is why we're bleeding or dry <sighs> look at it look all of it Mako siphoned straight from the life stream from our veins hey get a grip ferret's having a moment <clears throat> What do we have here? A man with a rain cloud over his head. So how about a reading to clear those somber skies? Whether it be dark or bright, I'll read your future right. Just didn't go shooting the messenger, eh? This some kind the of toy. music. You hear, lads? Eyes up here. Isn't that the Kate Sith theme? Kate Sith, fortune teller extraordinaire. Put it there. <laughs> It's a toy, all right. Pretty lifelike, though. Come on, pal. Give us a smile. <laughs> the gold saucer's meant to be a happy place filled with happy people, don't you know? So show yeah, us those pearly yeah, whites. Yeah, yeah. Back off. I love how they did Kate Sith. Oh, my God. You coming? I love it. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Uh, Strange. 
Most folks like me. We like Kate, sir. Yeah, we like it. Someone's got a bee in their bonnet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kate's it's, Kate's it's pretty cool. I'll be honest, I think I used him maybe a whole one time in the five times I've played this game. But, you know, uh... Yeah, he's cute. Oh, the voice is perfect. Literally. Oh, jeez. With the staircase going up, that's exactly it, man. Poof. Outside was tacky. Seems classy now. Oh boy. There's more rooms. The room service here is next level. A Tonberry robot delivers your food right to your doorstep. A Tonberry robot? That's fucking terrifying. He is really jiggly. Yes. But I love it. What is it? What does this do? The clerk appears to be absent. So a friend told me this story. One evening, right around midnight, he hears a sound outside his room. So he gets up, goes over to the door, and looks through the people. Sees an old Tonberry robot, battered little thing with a huge knife dripping blood as he shuffles down the hallway. Real slow till he's out of sight. Come on, man. Oh, it's true. Was looking for the jerk who smashed it up. Night after night, that Conberry stalks the hotel halls, seeking revenge. And if it crosses paths with ill-mannered guests that remind it of the one who did it wrong, stab right through their heart. A robot with a grudge. It's scary stuff. That sounds exactly like a Tom Berry. That looks like the Queen of Hearts from the that one Alice in Wonderland iteration. It's rough because I can't be in this place and not think of Vincent. I wonder if Vincent were here, how much he would love this kind of an atmosphere. He'd be like, mm, yes, here's feels right at home. Hotel. I can see it like the dead. I heard one of the rooms is literally haunted. <laughs> Vincent volume. There isn't one that actually exists, I hope. Something tells me I'm going to have the worst nightmares when I go to bed. I don't want to go to bed. tingling up and down my spine. Wait. Maybe I've got some kind of sixth sense. Uh, what if we what if we just like never slept? Okay, that's <laughs> something tells me that's great. You won't believe this, but I finally got the Marlboro room. I've heard it's to die for. The I Marlboro room, an yeah. Entire night surrounded by Marlboro everything. Now that's the stuff of dreams. I'm in the Mandragora room myself. There's no better way to start your day at the Gold Saucer than to be woken by the sound of screams. I love it. But now that I've managed to book the Marlboro suite, which should I try next? Decisions, decisions. I'd like to stay in the behemoth. But alas, that one's reserved for families only. Oh, I know. Why don't we book it together? Half the cost, double the fun. Are you sure? That would be perfect. One night in the behemoth room is all I need to complete my sweet conquest. Oh. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. You won't believe this, but I finally got the Marlboro room. I've heard it's to die for. I can't wait to sit in the 
This is why women scare you. Valid. Hmm. Tacky and understaffed. Great. Hello? <laughs> 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 Welcome, gentle sirs. What in the hell was that? <laughs> My most sincere apologies. <sighs> Got any rooms? There's six of us all told. Well, five and one pet. Hmm. Might I inquire as to what kind of pet? Uh... He was joking. Make it six. Very well. <laughs> now then. Hmm. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, gentlemen, but it appears we're all booked up for the night. <sighs> for crying out loud. What about the other hotels? Forgive me, sir. But according to my records, all of our hotels are sadly fully booked. What? <laughs> Hello again. Nowhere to stay? <laughs> and what's it to you? Now then, did you want one suite or two? Ah, you trying to scam us? I wouldn't need dream of such a thing. And to prove it, I'll foot the entire bill myself. Giga Chad sure hates you it. Will. well, aren't we a prickly bunch? So cute how they did this. You there, dangly man. Dangly man. Check in one more time. Mm. Mm. Oh, a timely cancellation. <laughs> the Tonberry and Elagor suites have just become available. Oh. Shall I book them for you? <laughs> Great, the Tonberry so suite. Good to do good. All right, lads, enjoy your stay. <laughs> to the loo. Your suites are on the fourth floor. Please proceed to the elevator at the top of the stairs. <laughs> there you are. So cute. God, it's literally the perfect. The still stands. A fortune or two to steer you through. You can answer any question? But of course. Be it this, be it that, go on and ask the cat. <laughs> okay, we're looking for Sephiroth. Think you can find him? Oh, Sephiroth, you say? All right, hold on to your underpants. Meow, 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 meow. Things are looking up, so throw caution to the wind. Put your trust in others, and a last minute twist may pleasantly surprise you. What's this got to do with Sephiroth? What indeed? Give me another chance. I'll get it this time. Come on. Meow, meow. No, he didn't do the dance again. Although so cute. Watch your belongings. Lucky color. Black? <sighs> We're done. Wait, don't go. Third time's a charm. Come on, you stupid thing. Anything the matter? <laughs> Seek and you are sure to find. But alas, you shall forever lose what you cherish most. <laughs> the stars work in mysterious ways. <laughs> you good? Yeah, it's just what I cherish most. Um, see what this crap does. My apologies, sir. 
Kate Sith is perfect. Literally perfect. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. Stars mustn't be smiling on me. Odd. My readings are normally bang on. I just love hearing Kate Sith talk. It's like actually such a perfect iteration of like what I would imagine Kate Sith to sound like. They actually did it. Um, I even remember, it's funny because I do remember the original animation for that, for that sequence of him uh, giving you the, the fortune telling, basically. Uh, and the original, it's like the animation, he like puts his arms up and down like, ch -ch 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 -ch, and then he goes, ch -ch 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 -ch. <laughs> but I like this one where it's like, nya, 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 nya. <laughs> it's really cute. They did such a good job! You wish to go down, I presume? Yes. Fourth floor. Oh, uh, of course. Very well. Fourth floor it is. Goodness me! There's nothing I don't cherish. Isn't that line from Advent Children? Hmm. Cloud says that in Advent Children, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Elena's so dumb. Reservation. Under the name Palmer. Director of Space and Aeronautics? <laughs> yes, of course. Uh, one moment, please. <laughs> it says here you canceled those rooms. What? No, we didn't. We took Palmer's room? <laughs> While we did have you booked for the Tonberry and Elagor suites, Mr. Palmer sent word that they were no longer required. That's impossible. Is something wrong? We lost the rooms. What? Tell him who I am. I did. Oh. Wait, this is actually really interesting. Well, no point dwelling on it. Now, where can a man get a drink around here? <laughs> Yoo-hoo, waitress. This is interesting, because this wasn't in the original, but I really like that. I feel like, uh... Because... Of course, you're supposed to suspect Kate Sith. Farewell. Kate Sith. We hope you have um, yourselves a ghoulish, but like, morbid evening. Of all of the rooms that Reeve could have canceled, I feel like that actually does speak to his loyalties. Actually, he's like, yeah, fuck these guys. I don't know. If I actually, I think that's a cute little addition there. Like, he could have cancelled literally anyone's room. Like, come on. But he did. <laughs> he did- he did Palmer and his colleagues. <laughs> like, bruh? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no! I hate that! I hate that so much! Stardomus Johnny's seaside fleet trap. I'm gonna head out for a bit. Cool. But not for fun, just to take a walk. Hey, you've been acting pretty weird lately, Cloud. Rest up and shake it off. You hear me? Yeah. I hear you. Tom Berries are so cute. They're so cute. That's how they get you. That's literally how they murder you. That's how they suck you in. Buddy. Yeah. Buddy. Hey. Elliot's back, and I'm trying to see if he wants cuddles here. Come on. Hey. There we go. 
There we go. Yeah, buddy. This tail I could use without it being in my face. Thank you. I'm moving, I swear. Just give me a sec. I have to wait until Elliot, like, uh, sits down and decides how he wants to lay down on my lap. Yeah. Here you go. Okay. Now we can keep going. Good boy. Get Elliot a little crown and a cape. Oh, that'd be so cute. He's like my little Kate Seth. Dude, he is he is a purring machine right now. Jesus. Okay. Yep. What the fuck? One more. Oh god. Why am I aggressively, like, kicking the chair? Elliot goes purr. He is a very, very happy kitty right now. I I hate this Tomberry. It's so fucking creepy. What the hell? Is there anything else I can touch and interact with? Oh my god. That book fell on its own. Why did the book fall on its own? What the fuck? Ellie, it's so cute. Okay. Go to sleep? No. I, I, if I go to bed, I'm gonna have nightmares. Can I just leave? Rest while you can. Oh, stop looking at me. He keeps on, like, giving me almost puppy dog eyes, but cat eyes. I don't know what that means. What the fuck? Oh! Oh! Okay. Okay, that's... Okay, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that so much. Can we close this door? I didn't knock the book over! It fell again. Oh my god, it fell on its own. I'm- I'm going to bed. More tired than I thought. Imagine resting while you're at the gold saucer when you could literally be like, Sorry, with the man. girls. Feel like I failed you. Zack! No. Sorry, man. Feel like I failed you. 
Wait a fucking... No. The holy materia, it's right there. Wait, I'm playing? I'm moving the camera ever so slightly. What the... I can't move. I'm trying to move. I can't... I can't move. Zach is just... Zach, what are you doing? Zach? 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 You're running into a wall. What are you... Uh, bro? Oh, am I controlling Zach? Oh, I thought I was controlling Cloud the whole time. I didn't know why he was walking into the wall because that's where my control is. Anyway, um. Huh. Never seen materia like this before. Something about the color. It looked like I was moving the camera, like as Cloud, laying down right now. I thought that was me. Anyway, I need that holy materia, Zach. Can you deliver it to me? We can't beat the game without that. So only one of our versions can be awake at a time. Because these are like two parallel universes. Hi. You can just stare at crowds. Crowds? Crowd? Uh, Zach's crotch as much as you want. He's just staring. I could leave you on this screen for as long as we want to look at Zack right now. He's just staring at you. You. He's just staring. Me, Gungaga. I don't know what I'm supposed to do, man. Can I just leave? There we go. I'm trying to leave. Okay, that was really trippy. Um, Marlene and Elmira. Um, upstairs? Me? <laughs> Walking into walls. Wow, look at the beautiful... Oh. Um, well, this looks like shit. <laughs> it's supposed to be full of flowers with a really pretty waterfall, but shit seems to have gone down. I would love to be able to see my video game! <laughs> the lighting! <laughs> Everything is dead, but Zack is alive. Until Zack dies. Zack, just like deliver the holy materia and then kill yourself, and then the whole timeline is fine.
Oh, Marlene. Would you care to join us? Definitely. I'm starved. <laughs> You're supposed to say thank you. Oh. Yes, ma'am. No, you're supposed to say it now. Thank you. <laughs> Marlene! <laughs> hey, now. did someone come by the house last night? Oh, you must mean Biggs. Oh, Mr. Biggs Stop is alive. Some food. Then what's with the sneaking around? Wait, Vincent you Volume, who the fuck made that? Town? Well, his face is on them. Eon just made it? What a giga chad. Biggs, you're alive. Who isn't dead in this timeline? How Everybody's you know alive. Him? I'd rather let him explain. So long as Marlene's here, he'll come around again. He won't. Oh. <gasps> Biggs isn't coming back. Tifa isn't coming back. Daddy isn't coming back. Nobody's coming back ever again. Marlene. <sighs> sure they will. And I know just how to prove it to you. I'll go and get Biggs. Right now. What? Zach? Mean it? Always do. Honest and true. <laughs> Let me guess. You don't like dumb rhymes. <laughs> no, I like rhymes sometimes. <laughs> Not bad, kid. That was way too cute. What the fuck? Tion Not the Giga bad, Chad. Kid. When we needed him most, he made the Vincent volume emo. GIF, whatever. So, is- is everything still okay? I can't tell if that's like a purple materia that's just flying around and I'm supposed to like catch it midair. I- I don't know. And the book still falls and I'm still gonna put it back up. I- I would hope that there's like an achievement. You put back the- back the book ten times and you get an achievement. Did I miss this chest, really? Oh my... How are you feeling? Do you need anything? Some food? Water? I'm fine. You were right. Just needed some sleep. <sighs> you alone? Yeah. Red's off doing his own thing, and Aerith and Yuffie are taking a spin on the Skywheel. They're only letting couples on tonight. So here I am. The odd woman out. They hit it off quick, huh? Must be nice to make friends that easily. What? Like, you can't? I don't know. I act like I can, think I always have, ever since I was a kid. Anyway, you up for a little exploring? With me- Wait, are we going on a date? No pressure. Of course I'm up for it. Wait, is this the date? No, I wanted red! Get Tifa out of here! What? This is- I think this is like the date, and I fucked up. This is- this is shit! I want my money back! I thought you could choose! In the original, I thought you could. You go in the railway and you- you get to choose. Uh, no, I wanted red. 
I'm upset. God damn. I guess Tifa's I ate, but god damn. If I would have chosen any girl, I honestly would have preferred Aerith. But um I do love Tifa, don't get me wrong. How the fuck do I get out of here? Elevator. What is this emo? God, that emo looks so cursed. Going what the hell? Down to the lobby, sir. I thought the date was when we revisited the gold saucer. Yeah, that's what I thought too. I'm a little confused. Because it seems like this is it, though. Maybe it's not. Like, you get to choose- in the original, it's whenever you go back on the railway for the second time. I thought. No. No, maybe it is the first time. God, I don't remember. Oh. <coughs> Dying. Sorry. It's just the no, but the yeah, I hate it. The yeah looks so cursed. Since you seemed so down, how about you send me your PS5 See in the game and I'll soon. play this part instead. Okay. Sounds good, Tion. Hello there, Cloud. Chadley? It's not often I see you in the company of a single comrade. Oh, yes. I believe I understand the situation. Forgive me. I didn't mean to. Yeah, this is a date. You're both over Chadley. for a break. Enjoy yourselves tonight. Thank you. This is a date. Fuck off. Why are you here? Chadley's just always there to ruin your day. Always. <laughs> I'd love to have his job. All right, Tifa, we're going out. Just so you know, I was bitten by a zombie a few days ago. If you want to exchange your points, you'd better hurry before I turn. No, I need gold saucer points. I need the. I need the. I need the. I need the. Uh, the ah! I need my card collection. Because I don't think I have that much time. Left. Okay, that's creepy. I'm leaving. Thank you. Well, hello. Whatever it is you're off to today, allow me to be your guide. Your mobile guide. Okay, fast traveling. Where would you like to go, Kubo? Um I don't know. I, a big place is b big. I, 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 we'll just go here. Hold on to your hat, Tifa. A lot of people got Tifa and were happy with it. I mean, Have it's not that I'm, like, Tifa's great. It's just not my preferred choice, and I wish I had a choice. Doesn't matter how many. Because I, I wanted, I, I truly did want red. I just like having a choice. So that's the battle square. We could do that first. Uh, battle square, there's so much to do. Okay, uh, downstairs. Chocobo square, let's go chocobo first. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes, bitch. Why are you spending your money on the gold saucer? 
Let's make sure we don't. Don't go to the gold saucer if you need a new pair of shoes! That was, oh. Madam M, what are you doing? Oh. Honestly, darling, if you wanted to spend time with me, you only had to ask. What are you doing in this place? Why, celebrating, of course. <laughs> My little jaunt to Costa del Sol proved fruitful. Oh. And now I'm flushing all that gill down the toilet. I swear, every time one of Sans Chocobos takes first, Probably doping his burns, the con artist. <sighs> Enough about me, though. What about you? Surely you've got better things to do than listen to me vent. Like oh. paying attention to your girlfriend. <laughs> Go have fun before she gets bored with you. <sighs> whatever. See, even Cloud is whatever about the date, this, man. You gotta win this thing. Hi, Tifa. I do love you. I, I swear to God. There's no bad characters in Final Fantasy VII. I want you to know that, Tifa. I just prefer the, 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 the cat rat dog. Don't test me. Welcome to the Chocobo Racetrack. Do you currently have a membership with us, sir? No. Oh, I'm so sorry. But I'm afraid our services are for members only. Make me a member. Oh, that's too bad. Might have been fun. All of our guests are more than welcome to watch the races on the monitors, however. You'll find them just overhead. I want to become a member, though? Why would you be like, oh, do you want to become a member? Only members are allowed to use the services here, I'm afraid. Do not screw this I guess that's the, the second bad <laughs> event. I guess that is the uh, the second bad yes, event. Come on, you big, beautiful bird! All right, next beautiful Welcome. place that we're going to. Where are we going? So this is to the battle square. Okay, okay, this is only slightly confusing. Battle square. Battle square, battle square, battle, battle, battle square. I love this animation with Kate Sith. Oh my god. This is amazing. Hey right, everyone, let's get this party started. Hope you're ready to it. He's perfect. Look at him. That's literally perfect. Welcome to Battle Square, Chocobo. Now you can get back here whenever you're in the mood to rest. Okay. I got some protein powder. I want the fat Chocobo. Oh, that Moogle looks like shit, though. Buy a fat Chocobo and Moogle and save with our Pudgy Bear combo. Grab our trio of iconic mascots and take home a piece of the gold saucer. I really want the fat Chocobo. Can I take that fat Chocobo? Want to step inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter. To Are you interested in joining the fray? I am. Face off against a variety of opponents as a two-person team. Okay. All right. Just like Chadley. The Zoomies. I like that it's called the Zoomies. A 
imagine having a fat chocobo. I have a fat Elliot. Sloppy. Oh my god. Gotcha. I get pressured whenever you don't. Whenever it is. Whenever they don't hit their charge attack. That'll do. There is so much. I can barely get a second to myself. This is so hard to maneuver. It's on now. You're done. Going all out. Not me, like actually gonna die. All set. You're as good as dead. <laughs> oh, summon. just do a regular thing, right? Right, probably. Take that! Got you! You're up! Need to heal up. Bring it! See, nothing to it. Yeah, I'm fine. Careful here, start with the region. I don't know what. temporary unlimited MP because I can heal up before the next fight, maybe? Or... Give us a holler when you want to throw down. 
No, I want to do more. I can, I can definitely come back to the gold saucer though, and I'm probably later. So I don't feel the need to like complete everything right now. Kind of, sort of. We'll see. I'll come back to the battle square after some of the other areas. Onward to. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. Holy shit! It is so windy outside. It's actually kind of scary. Looking for a Dio t-shirt? We got you. I really would love a Dio t-shirt, actually. Someone should just send one to my PO box. Thanks. Actually, preferably Square Enix. If you could send me a Dio t-shirt, I'd wear it. I would even model that shit. Do a full-on photo shoot, marketing it on my Instagram. I would do it. I would do it. Speed square. Let's go. Dio, I'm a Dio simp, man. Like, did you not see those fucking muscles? Oh my god. All right, Tifa. I need. I need a favor. I need you to like, just sit right there, and look really pretty in front of the camera here. I need to go pee real quick. Be good. Keep Elliot company. Here. I put Elliot in your full frame. You have Elliot. I'll be right back. All right, did you guys keep Elliot company for me? Elliot looks satisfied, so I think you guys did a good job. Thank you for that. But also, damn, this music. Whoa, it's Iron Man. Welcome cadets to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy! Sir! Sir! Huh? <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Sir! <laughs> is that how you were back when you enlisted? Wow, Tifa. I hope. Welcome, cadets, to Space Ranger HQ. Our mission today is a vital one, and we will need your wholehearted support to defeat the enemy. This is so cool. Is amassing a fleet of My God. On the dark side of Moon Seven, you and your squadron will lead our assault and break through the enemy's defensive lines. 
From there, you will strike at the very heart of their fleet in a bid to destroy their dread flagship. Your actions will decide not only. It feels like I'm at an amusement park for referral. Let's go, let's go, I wanna do it. Ready for blast off right Oh, I'm so ready for blast off. Join the Space Rangers in their fight for galactic freedom. Pilot your own star cruiser to bring down the villainous Gilgamesh army. Oh my god, the Gilgamesh army. Get out. Barrel roll, shoot, proto bomb, restorative charge. Okay. Time to play Galactic Survivor. Okay. I already forgot the controls. Oh, those are my ally ships. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, what? Oh, I guess I need to do the barrel roll thing. Great work. Keep it up, Ranger. Ah! Oh, I can just blow up anything I want. Enemy sighted. Attack! That was the five. Yeah, I did so good there. Okay, this is fun! Oh, I didn't get that guy. I'm just smashing. Oh! I can hold in square this whole time! I've been rapidly pressing it like an idiot. What is that thing? I'm trying to shoot it. I win? Oh, there's a tail to deal with. Behold the majesty of our galaxy. This is what we fight for. No, I can't get it. Now I'm using the bombs more. Damn it. I didn't really know what I was doing before, but now I feel like I got the hang of it. How are they gonna put this in 14? Oh, you're so right though. They they are gonna put it in 14. Oh 
no! I did like I'm I feel stuck. Like why, why can't I uh gotta focus, I did kind of terrible there. We restored peace to the galaxy! Yay! Did I do good? If I didn't know better, I'd say you've done that before. Oh! I did good, apparently. Wait, there's still one more rank that I can get, though. Ooh, 35,000. I can totally do it. We can do it. Dragon Dogma 2. I've heard some people aren't uh, as enthusiastic about Dragon Dogma because the first one wasn't done that well, apparently. This is so fun now that I got the hang of it. Yeah! Have you played Helldivers? No, I don't really play those games. That's not my uh, that's not my thing. to get more performance bonus. No other enemy contact detected. Prepare for the next wave. That was the fine shooting. Yeah, I got you. I got you, man. I'm a pro at this game now. Ain't nothing can stop me. Except for whatever this is now. We're doing great. Missed a ship. Your 
There's so much going on! Okay, just use the bombs, use the bombs, use the bombs. Dodge, dodge beautifully. Use the bombs, use the bombs. Dodge beautifully, use the bombs. Dodge beautifully, use the bombs. Wait, there's still ships! We haven't restored peace! What? There's ships on my screen! Oh, I annihilated that score. Ain't nothing can stop me in this minigame. All right, I completed it. Right, Elliot? If I didn't know better, Elliot I'd was so impressed. Elliot was just like really impressed by me. Oh, I just remembered the reason why we can't become a member for the Chocobo part in the Gold Saucer is because that's the part that you come back to later. I'm a dumb. We must fight together to bring an end to this. Your actions will decide not only the outcome of this. This war, is so cool. Aerith, why are you here? Oh, hey there, you two. Huh. Uh-huh. Oh no. Hmm. We're not Aerith? on a date. Just checking. Checking for what? If you were fighting or not. <laughs> not gonna lie, I'm a teensy bit jealous. Me too. This place just isn't that fun when you're all by yourself. There must be someone out there who'd want to hang out with a cool person like me. She's guilt tripping us. Hmm? This isn't the time to go making new friends, right? Yeah, you heard the man, Aerith. Uh, all I'm saying is, anyone can put on a friendly face, including Shinra spies. They could be anywhere, waiting to pounce. That they're totally <laughs> not talking about Kate Sith there, Thanks, waiting to I'm pounce even. Ha, ha, ha. I know a Shinra freak when I see one. If you say so. Just huh. stay sharp. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. Oh, I will. Sharp as a tack. Promise. Now go. Enjoy your date. I love this soundtrack. Oh my god. They went so all out on this game. It's crazy. Brings me so much joy just knowing the amount of work that they went into this game. Even down to the music changing as you go to each section of the gold saucer. Fucking hell. Did they have to go this hard? No. No, they didn't, but they did. The reality is that they actually did go this hard. Why is there just a purple materia on the ground? Paint the town red? Oh, just explore the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Skywheel Square. I'm not leaving till I ride the Skywheel. So, how you want to kick this off? Guess Wonderman Square since we we're here. Wonderman Square. Next. Wonderman Square. My first time. Hi. Yuffie! Show begin. Aha! I knew you'd come crawling out of your room eventually. I mean, seriously, who could resist the siren song of the saucer? You alone? Yeah. Got a little sidetracked and wound up losing the others. Well, feel free to join us if you want. And be a third wheel? No thanks. I know when I'm not wanted. Huh? 
You got a nice outfit. Three D brawler. Oh my god. <laughs> Queen's blood. <laughs> oh, that's what they mean. This place looks fun, huh? Now we're talking. That one's practically calling your name. Bet you'd kill on it. <laughs> but it's for kids. <laughs> You're afraid of a little video game? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Let's see how it stacks up against Are you the real afraid thing. of a real video game? I'm dying to see the rest of the park. If my kid refuses to budge, eh? I want to stick to the person. Oh, this is so awesome. Look at all the queen's blood. Hi. Oh god, I got stuck. Okay. Hi! You got your deck in order? Gold saucer queen's blood challenges? Okay, this is definitely for off stream. I will do that off stream. The time has come to take up your You asked for it! Losers by a good night! Cloud's epic motorcycle flight on the Midgar Expressway has been recreated. Oh, God. I, I didn't do very good at this, I think. Left attack, right attack, guard, spinning slash, boost. Okay. Ah, time to suck. There's just a lot of content in FF7. Though. This game is very large. It was very large back in the day. It already was three different discs. It's crazy. I do regular Queen's Blood matches on stream, but not, uh... Those are just, like, the strategic type of stuff. Oh, do I need to hit that? Oh, yeah. I'm really good at running into things. <laughs> Oh, 
One, okay, Tifa? God. Such a judgmental bitch. I did my best. I have 600 coins. That, that ain't much, sweetie. But... Oh my god. This is terrible. I need everything. I need to spend five years at the fucking gold saucer. Attractions are open now. Oh, that's the last one. We have to end with the sky. We have to end with the romantic date. Sorry. My bad, chat. Heavily, the that parade theme from Paprika? I have no idea what you're talking about. You're a fan of Ghost Square because it's quiet? I, I, it's, it's the opposite of quiet. This is the event square. Let's go. Welcome to Event Square, Koopa. All right, Event Square. Wait. The art on the walls. Damn. Loveless. God damn it. This is all loveless. It's oh my Jessie. god. What? Back when I was still finding my feet in Midgar, I ran into some trouble. But she took me under her wing, helped me out, saved me, really. Sounds like her. Jessie! I admired her. She was so cool and confident. Like nothing could bring her down. Yeah, I know. I owe her so much. Thank you for everything. Jesse. One day I'm going to be singing on that stage. So much loveless, god damn it. The food in the VIP seats was to die for. All right, Tifa, we're supposed to watch a show. Well, shall we? Yeah. 
So where to next? The races, maybe? Not again. Done for the day, I guess. She was always a star, but just imagine her up there. Oh. Yeah. Wish I could have seen it. Good evening, friends of the Gold Saucer. Great news. Skywell Square is now welcoming all interested park guests. Join us on a journey through the clouds, where you'll be able to take in the splendor of our fabulous park. We're now accepting pre-orders for commemorative outreach. Oh, wait, Andrea? One day, oh, hello? Well, look who it is. We meet again. I must say, your duel with Dio earlier was a sight to behold. <laughs> Gave me goosebumps. The stage calls to you begs for you to bear your soul upon it. What are you doing out here? The park director requires my talents for a show. Huh. My fancy footwork, to be precise. What do you say? Shall we cut a rug? No. Mm -hmm. Not even the limelight can melt that icy heart. Hmm. <laughs> Don't let me keep you two from all the fun. Go on, please. Experience all the saucer has to offer. Wait, but Andrea, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Don't God let me keep you two from all the fun. Go on, please. Experience all. That, that design was like nothing I've ever seen. I just start bawling the second the show. I repeat, advance tickets for tonight's All right, fast travel. You're not the fast travel thing. You're the fast travel thing. Purchase one hour before the show. Just name the square, and I'll get you there. But hey, at least we know your scripts are good. Too bad our stage is too small for them. I never found. I feel like I should be able to find red and uh, ferret too. I didn't see them. Let's make tracks, Kubo. I gotta look around a little bit more. Have ourselves a magical day. I want a day with Andrea more than Tifa. No, I want red. It's funny because like I ship Cloud and Tifa so hard. Like these two belong together. There is no question about it. And yet I still don't want this date. <laughs> No. The cat flowers sure are lively today, huh? Not sure how to feel about that. Seeing if there's anybody out here. Whoa, what's going on? I sure hope so, because we're about to get wild. Dude, look at these party animals. This game is very magical. Work one? Oh no, that's fucking cursed. Oh god, no. Why does it have pants? Who the fuck gave the chocobo pants? Take them off! Ugh! A 
chocobo does not need pants. Welcome to paradise. That is so good. I do not approve of the pants on the chocobo. To the gold saucer. Park Central is your gateway to fun. A choco pants. Ugh. Bro, I'll take a hard pass on that. Your trusty guide Mobile is at your service. Thank you. It's just hard. I don't, I don't like it. I do not. They want me to go to Skywheel Square so bad. Like, bitch, no, I do not want to. Wanna step inside the ring? Welcome to the Coliseum. Devil May Care Desperados. We'll see how this goes. Oh my god. It's a bunch of the models of those guys. <laughs> Just like that, okay? Elemental damage will pressure, also cause to develop resistance and begin to absorb- Oh, they're a- okay. I know that they're a type of plan, so they act the same way, too. Okay. Oh, come on. I Take don't it from here. I got this. Let Tifa go, so that's something. All good. I'll give Tifa a regen to bring it. Wait. Nothing to it. It didn't work? It's on you. I got this. Wait. 
can't. Take there's, over. there's no regen. There. Okay. Your mind. No more playing nice. Don't stop now. Time to end this. There. Yeah. Any last words? Copy. Nice moves. Didn't even need Titan. Didn't even need it. But not my best. That Dio statue in the background? Majestic. Hell yeah. Okay. Level 39? Excuse me? That's quite the jump. Maybe I can do it. You know what? I can, I can, I can, I can do it. If you're a gamer, I mean, level number doesn't matter, right? Too easy. <laughs> First try. Yeah. All good. All good. Nothing. We're nothing bad ever happens. Want to step inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter to learn more. Discounts. Phoenix down. Discounted, dude. This game knows how much I die. Is spectating not enough? Want to step inside the ring? Head to our entrance counter to learn more. All right, but gamers, unfortunately, I do have to end stream a little bit early today because I do have to pack up and get my PC ready back at my at my home. So I want to give myself all the time in the world today to uh, get set up back at home. I will go big screen here for a second so that you guys can say goodbye to Elliot. Elliot has graced us these past two weeks here. Buddy. Elliot has graced our stream for two weeks, and now he is gonna go away, and maybe he'll come back next year. We should, I mean, they go on vacation around this time every year, so this, is, this should be a regular thing. Every year we spend two weeks here. And next year, the internet should be better, too, so I won't be dropping a lot of frames every stream. So there's that. Elliot? Elliot, you want to say bye? Elliot? Okay, Elliot says bye. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm going to miss this lighting so much. I I love the natural light in this room so much. I I don't have to worry about buying a light. You gotta say bye to your fans, yeah? He's like, I want to take a bath. So he's just gonna take a bath. <laughs> but yeah, thank you guys again uh, for the streams the past two weeks here. I'll be sad to leave because I enjoy making videos and content here in this beautiful space. Here, I'll, like, I'll make Elliot face you guys. Elliot. Yeah, buddy. <sighs> All 
All right, I will see you guys tomorrow at my boring old apartment again, but with a solid stream that's not dropping frames every two seconds. So there's that. Um, it, yeah, anyway, I gotta go. Bye everybody. Thanks for chilling.